Hello everyone, today I'm doing a lip swatch video of the new shades of the Huda Beauty Cream Glow Power Bullet Lipsticks. I've got tons. We're going to see how the lips go because I also might swatch the lip pencils at the end. So this is going to be a big lip swatch video. Take a moment to say a few words for my lips because they are about to pass away. But that's fine. Uh, this makeup here is from my previous video. I'll link it down below. I will also put the name so that as we swatch, you can like see what the color is in case you want to screen capture it or anything like that. And I'll also link them down below and list every shade name in order. All right, so on the actual packagings of the lipsticks, it says light, medium, and rich on the back. So I'm assuming that is the depth of the lipsticks themselves. So I'm going to start with the light ones move along. And to take off my lipsticks today I am going to use my takeoff mitts by EXO Beauty. They are amazing. You wet these with water and they remove all your makeup. The microfibers get really deep into your skin, way deeper than what a normal face cloth or your fingers ever can. And literally like it just removes makeup like a dream. So I will be using these to remove all of my lipstick in between each color. So about these, it says prepare to be totally addicted. Seriously, the application is too good. A creamy twist on Huda Beauty's OG Power Bullet Matte Formula. These lipsticks are legit the perfect your lips but better nudes. The pink and brown shades have been made to match your natural look, ugh, your natural lip color, and they feel like you're not wearing anything at all. They contain Hydro Berry to lock in moisture and sea fennel, which is rich in minerals and vitamins A, C, and E that condition and smooth your lips. You can thank Maxi Lip for your Instaworthy Pout too, as it stimulates collagen production. There's 14 new shades, 7 pinker tones and 7 more brown tones. 25 US dollars, I believe. My lips are very dry today. So I didn't pick the best day to film this, but that's fine. I also have bright purple eyeshadow on, so... Luckily, these are all nudes. All right, so we are going to start with Empress. I love the packaging of Huda Beauty lipsticks. They are that kind of clear, well, not clear, but I don't know, like jelly kind of lid where you can semi-see through it. Ombre square and the actual lip bullet themselves is a really nice shape. So you can get a really nice precise application. Normally with any lipstick, I use lip pencils, but once again, we're just gonna apply them straight just for the purpose of this video. Okay, yeah, they've got a very creamy, kind of borderline glossy look. So you wouldn't really need to use lip gloss with them if you didn't want to. They feel really smooth, not sticky. They feel slightly heavy, but not enough to bother me. It's just like there. I think these would look bomb with a lip pencil around the border and then just using this in the middle to kind of fill in and plump rather than all over. But that is how this looks. Once again, that shade is Empress. The next shade is called Angel. Here's how it looks in the bullet. A really soft kind of dusky pink. And on the lips. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, it's creamy. Is that my fault for having it sticking out too far? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just gonna like wind it down. I feel like I wasn't being that rough, like no rougher than normal with any other brand. Okay, despite the fact that it broke on me, the color is stunning. I really like this one. I think I like this color on myself a little bit more than the previous shade. It's just the perfect everyday dusky kind of pink color. It looks really nice with this eye makeup too. I'm a big fan of it. So yeah, that one once again is Angel. It's a shame that it snapped. It just goes to show like how creamy the formula is. I'll just continue like normal guys. I'm not gonna be hyper careful because I just wanna see if it happens with any others, but maybe just keep that in mind if you do buy these. Just wind them out a little bit and just remember to be a little bit careful. But the color is like kind of worth it. <laughs> Next shade we have is Raja. I hope I pronounced that correctly. R-A-J-A-H. This one here is a more like just true nude I would say. So I'm just going to wind it normal and just apply it with a normal amount of pressure. I'm not being super careful. Let me know down below, do you like the kind of more glossy, creamy lipsticks or do you still prefer matte? Alright, that one did not break. That's how the colour looks. It's, yeah, just like a true nude, slightly warm undertones. Alright, this is the last one in the light category and this one is called Buttercup. This one looks like a paler version. It's like another pinky kind of pale colour, except I think it looks less pink than, was it Angel that was my favourite? Yeah. 
yeah I feel like it's just like a more muted pinky nude um, a little bit more nude than the other pinky color I actually quite like that I think it would look amazing on top of a brown lip pencil just to like highlight the center of the lips on its own eh. but yeah you have to imagine it with a lip pencil I reckon but that's how the color looks. So my favorites from the lighter colors were Angel and Buttercup. I'll put them side by side just in case you are curious. <laughs> Poor thing's so broken. So this one here is Buttercup and this one here is Angel. That's how they look next to each other. Now the medium kind of tones, there are the most. There's four light and then four of the darkest and then the rest are all medium. So the first color we have here is called Money Maker and this is how it looks. Looks like a kind of pinky, kind of nude brown. You have to excuse my shit application. I'm so not used to putting on lipstick without lip pencil, but that's how it looks. It's a really nice color. Kind of reminds me of what I was wearing at the start of the video, which was Velvet Teddy with like a more pinky nude lip pencil. That's how Money Maker looks. I definitely like it. I'm not like, oh my God, this is my new favorite, but I do like it. And my lips look very juicy. I feel like this kind of color tone suits me well without a lip pencil. Like it just, I don't know, it just wears really nicely alone. So, yep, that one's good. Next up, we have Goal Digger. This one looks like a kind of cooler tone, medium brown. Oh my gosh. The application is so bad, but that color's really cool. It's almost like got that vampy kind of vibe on my skin tone but it would look so nice on people with darker skin tones than me it's a really really nice undertone I don't know it just looks a little bit different to a lot of other colors that I already own so that one's really cool gold digger next up we have baby face see these are all looking a little bit similar so that's why I think it's a good idea to kind of like screenshot your favorites and you can like scroll through them side by side because sometimes they do look similar Oh, this one's a little bit lighter than the last one. Ooh. That's like my perfect My Lips But Better kind of color. How she was saying that there's something to match everyone kind of thing. Like, I think this is my one, baby face. Like, it just looks like my lips, except more even and healthy and beautiful. Obviously looks like I'm wearing lipstick, let's be honest, but you know, like... The color tone itself and the depth is really nice I think on my skin tone so that one's really nice baby face I can't stop like rubbing my lips together because it feels really good next up we have sweet cheeks looks like this this one looks a little bit more pinky again I think yeah well, almost like a peachy pink you definitely get like a really good color payoff with just one swipe Look at that. That was kind of too. I don't know. You get you get the gist. They definitely have like a really good amount of pigment to them. Sweet Cheeks is really pretty. It's just like the perfect peachy kind of color. Really nice everyday color. Perfect for work or school or whatever. Next up we have Honey Bun. And this one, well this one looks quite pale too. Look at that. I should have opened them all first. I don't know. I was just going off the packaging. But yeah, I feel like I might like this one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. It's the perfect nude peachy kind of color. Like it's not as peach as the last one. Um, it's a bit more pinky peach in the middle, a little bit lighter. I really like that. That's definitely a favorite. And then the last one from the medium kind of range of colors, this one is Hustler. This one is a, yeah, it looks like a true kind of nude. Maybe it was slight pinky, pinky hints to it. Let's have a look. huge fan that's like a true neutral kind of nude and it's like the perfect depth on my skin tone once again where it's like pale enough without being like just lips you know I really like that so once again that is Hustler so I've actually kept four from the medium range of colors so the darkest one on this side it goes gold digger baby face honey bun and then this last one is Hustler they look so pretty next to each other. I think my favorite two are definitely the lighter two though. Uh, Honey Bun and Hustler. Those ones are bomb. I love them. I don't even want to take Hustler off. Like I just love it. <laughs> we have four more shades to go. I think I will do the lip pencils at the end of this video because I feel like 
These are just not hurting my lips. I don't know if it's the removal because this is a really gentle removal. I don't have to tug and pull and you know dry out my lips or if it's because the lipsticks themselves are very hydrating and creamy. I think it might be a mixture of both. So these are the rich tones. The first one we have here is Habibi. It looks stunning. It looks like a more cool tone like you know those slight purpley-ish undertones. That is gorgeous, terrible application. I look like I've got a moustache, but stunning colour. It looks really nice once again with this eye makeup too. And imagine it with like a dark brown lip pencil with this in the middle. I just feel like it would look so pretty. I actually, yeah, the more I look at this, the more I like it. It's a really nice colour. Looks really juicy. So once again, it's Habibi. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Next up, we have a more. This is a very dark colour. I should probably put this on last, but you know what? We're just going to go with it. Um, I feel like this must be one of the darkest shades, surely. It's a very rich, deep brown with kind of redder undertones. That is how it looks. It looks so sexy. Like, if I actually applied it a little bit nicer with lip pencil. Oh my god, how many times can I say that in one video? You get the idea, but I feel like it's super sexy, like latex lips. Obviously would look bomb as a nude on deep skin tones too. I love the undertones, it's stunning. I actually feel like I need, I thought I would hate it, but I feel like I need to keep this, don't you think? Once again, that is Amore. Is it Amore or Amore? I don't even know. Anyway. <laughs> Next up we have it Self Made. Definitely not as dark as the last one, but this looks stunning. It's like a really true neutral kind of deep nude brown oh yeah i look like a little kid that's gotten into mum's makeup but stunning once again oh my gosh i think i have a thing for brown lipsticks right now i really like that that is once again just like sexy to me i don't know like it just makes you look like you got like mass sex appeal like give it to me oh my god yeah i like it once again, that is self-made. The last one we have is Boss Chick. Looks like this, maybe slightly peachier. This one's breaking too. So I think it's just like the odd shade. Maybe they're a little bit softer in texture. Um, or maybe they've just melted in my bedroom. I'm not too sure, just keep that in mind. Oh, there it goes. So that is Boss Check, a little bit lighter than the others. Just a really nice peachy nude. Easy, wearable, it does not blow my mind, but you know, it's just one of those colors that's just like easy day to day. So Boss Check, that's the last shade. So I'm keeping Habibi, this one. I'm keeping more, and I'm keeping Self Made. They are so stunning, so stunning. These are how the lip pencils look. They all have like, their color kind of on the outside if you know what I mean which I love it makes it nice and easy to find the color you are looking for these are called the lip contour 2.0 I don't know if I ever tried the original ones but basically these are the new and improved lip pencils by Huda Beauty they're meant to be amazing they are high pigmented velvety matte finish creamy and comfortable they've also got a complex of soybean and licorice which is supposed to help create a naturally plump pout and they come in at 12 universal shades and yeah it's supposed to wear for all day it's supposed to be transfer proof it's supposed to be smooth to apply it's got a little mini sharpener on the other end just says that they're just meant to be amazing so i'm gonna try them first shade we have is honey beige they feel similar to like the kylie ones which i really like you know how they're super creamy and they just like glide on. This one is like my perfect nude. I'm just gonna color them in so you can really see that true color. Yeah, you rub your lips together, it's like a lipstick. It transfers perfectly and blends in. And looks stunning. I'm actually a huge fan of wearing lip pencils alone. I do it all the time or I put just a little bit of lip gloss on top. Um, so that's perfect and when you do that after a few seconds it almost sets. Like I can tell now that it's like not creamy it's just kind of like stuck on. I don't know how to describe it. it feels a little bit sticky but I wouldn't normally like 
press my lips together like that. If you're just talking, you can't tell. So they definitely feel very, let's have a look, transfer proof. Yeah, there's barely anything. You can see the tiniest, oh, I'm pulling the fingers, the tiniest little bit just there. I'll try it with a darker color if I remember. I feel like a little bit wiped off just there though, look, put it back on. But yeah, they feel really good. Feels lightweight. Out of interest, I'm just gonna try this sharpener. How does it work? Oh, you twist the product out. Okay, I was like, do you actually sharpen the plastic? Okay, yeah. So you push the product out and then you just rotate it and it shaves off like, you know, the rounded edges and gives you a sharper tip. So that's really cool as well. I do like that. You can retract it too. You can go in and out. So that's really nice. Handy. Perfect for travel and stuff like that. You don't have to take extra sharpness. This is going straight in my lip uh, liner drawer. If you haven't seen this video, I'll link it below where I organized all of these. That's going straight in the nudes one. And since we are wiping these off anyway, I'm going to pop on a little bit of Angel on top. Just in the center, which is the one that melted everywhere. But I love the color. Yeah, see? How pretty does that look? I could put a little bit more on. It's like the perfect blushy kind of nude lip. So that's how I would wear these lipsticks rather than all over where they look quite like over the top because the gloss is everywhere. Just like in the center like that. That looks stunning with the lip pencils. I think that's such a nice combo. So yeah, I like. <laughs> I'll do a quick combo with each one. Why not? We're already like friggin' deep with how long this video is and you guys told me you like long videos. I'm just gonna wipe this off. See, even like matte lipsticks and lip pencils, the mitt just takes it straight off. The next one we have is called Pinky Brown. Real talk, I don't know if I'd call this pinky brown, it's more just pink. Nice and easy to fill in. So once again, that is called it pinky brown. I will also be keeping this color, I think it's really beautiful. I can see what they mean by brown, it's just more of like a nude pink. I wouldn't call it brown pink, it's just nude. On top, let's try Buttercup, which is more of a nude, like a pale pinky nude. Yeah, that's really pretty. I need a new mitt. <laughs> this one's covered in lipstick. Next up we have Sandy Beige, which looks more like a muted, like beige kind of nude. It's a really, really nice color. Just like the perfect everyday nude color. I feel like I'm just gonna end up keeping every single shade of these lip pencils because they really do look gorgeous and they feel really nice on. On top of this one, I'm going to try Baby Face. Oh, I feel like this one's a little bit dark for the lip pencil, but let's just rock it. Still looks really cool. What do you think? That's Baby Face there, by the way. Next up, we have Warm It Brown. I'm assuming that's going to speak for itself. That's also a beautiful colour. I would definitely rock this for like a more like vampy kind of like night out lip or something like that. I'm just waiting for it to like set and then I'm going to do a transfer test. Alright. Tiny bit of transfer, but overall I would say quite transfer proof. I think that's just where there was a bit extra product that wasn't blended out as evenly. Do you feel like when you do that though, it just removes like a really weird bit? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, this is Honey Bun. Oh, that combo. Yes. That is pretty. I love that combo so much. 10 out of 10. Next up we have terracotta. I'm thoroughly excited about terracotta because terracotta is one of my favorite colors of makeup. Definitely really like the application of these. So that is terracotta on its own. Gorgeous, stunning, love, 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 love it. Now, let's try it with a lipstick. I just grabbed Money Maker because I feel like it'll look cute. What kind of matches? 
that's how it looks with Money Maker on top. My lips are starting to feel it now. This one is Vivid Pink. So this is one of the like more bright colors, I think. Looks like there's a couple of brights. This one's like one of the brightest. Ooh. I love it. Honestly obsessed. This is a fun one for summer or spring, I think. I love it. I'm a huge fan. It's so pretty. It's like the perfect bright kind of corally pinky tone. So once again, that is vivid pink. I'm going to put honey bun on top of this one too. Just to tone it down a little. So pretty. I'm like ruining all my foundation around my lips by this point. Oh. Yeah, those feel thoroughly exfoliated. <laughs> this stuff looks like a more muted pink. This one is, oh my god, I didn't even read it, but it's called Muted Pink. Wow. <laughs> this looks so similar to Michaela Bakes or Beauty if you have that. Gorgeous. Honestly, the shade range is just stunning. It's like everything I like to wear and I love... This lip color with this eye makeup is like perfect. I'm obsessed. So that's muted pink. And put a little bit of, once again, Angel. Angel's like my favorite one, I think, which is the one that broke. So, love that for me. But look at that. That is so pretty together. Muted pink and Angel. Best combo. You know what the texture of these reminds me of? It reminds me of, do you remember my Shane So Beige Cosmetics palette, the first one? And it had the like lip paints. That's what they remind me of. That texture. I don't want to take this off. Literally like the eye makeup and this lip color. That is my favorite. I love this. Like that makes me feel pretty. I feel pretty with this lip color. I love, I don't want to take it off. Oh my God, it's like that TikTok. Take it off. Take it off. You know? Anyway. Rusty pink. The hell does rusty pink mean? Okay. You know what? It actually makes sense when you look at the colour. It's like a coral pink. Once again, I really like it. It's not my favourite colour, but that looks nice. Let's do honey bun on top. Kind of in the centre for an ombre effect. That's nice. I like it. <laughs> I feel like I just like every colour. We've got four left. Two of them are very dark, so maybe I won't like those on myself, but let's find out. The next shade we have is called Deep Rose, which looks like a rosy, purpley, kind of darker colour. Oh, this looks cool with the eye makeup also. This is my other lip liner drawer with more pinky tones, brighter tones, purple tones, red tones. So that's how the lip pencil looks on its own. Yeah, I think it looks cool with this eye makeup actually. I, the more I look at this, the more I'm obsessed with that color. Look at it. That is so pretty. And you know what? It almost looks like I'm wearing a matte liquid lipstick. <laughs> like that's how stunning the finish is. Why am I obsessed with it? That's a favorite. I'm just gonna dump on some Habibi. Mm. It feels so luxurious. Like it just looks expensive. Yeah, it's nice. Why am I so obsessed with myself right now? <laughs> Next up we've got the red. It's just called Universal Red. Maybe not with this eye makeup, but I'm already obsessed with the color, holy cow. It's such a beautiful striking red. I don't really have a lipstick from the collection that'll go with this, so I won't do a lipstick on top, but wow. Or I could do a different lipstick, I guess. On top I'm going to put Relentlessly Red by MAC. 
That is so cool. Whoops, I just smudged some. Oh my god. Normally I would go in with concealer and sharpen it up, but you get the idea. That's so cool, it's so bright. I don't want to take this off either, even though it doesn't really go with my eye makeup. I feel like it makes the green in my eyes just pop. I don't know. Can you see it? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, the next one's a berry one. It's called Very Berry, and the last one's like a dark brown, so... Okay, this one also looks really cool with the eye makeup. Oh my god, I would have never thought of doing a color like this with purple eyeshadow. This lip pencil is definitely the patchiest of them all, but with a lipstick on top, I think it'll look good. That's how it looks by itself though. Love it with the eyes. Love, love, love. I want to do a tutorial just based on like purple and burgundy now. Looks so cool. On top, let's do a more. Sexy AF. That looks really cool, I think. I really like that combo. And once you put the lipstick on top, you can see it kind of evened out really well. Huge fan. Honestly, I feel like she's really nailed all of these colors for just wearable nudes, you know? There's obviously no like bright colors, but I mean, there's a couple of brighter lip pencils. You get what I mean though. I don't know, I just think they're all really nice. Not all, most, most are nice. The last color is called Rich Brown. Alright, that's how rich brown it looks on its own. Nice, just a nice deep brown. It's actually like ridiculously vampy. I'm definitely going to keep it because I feel like it's like my darkest lip pencil that I own that isn't just like a black or anything like that. I just love looking at all the lip pencils here. I'm such a lip pencil hoarder. I love lip pencils. I don't know what it is. I just feel like they transform your lip products. Like, I don't know, like lipstick without. I mean, you saw how all of those lip swatches look. Like, they look nice, right? But on top of lip, ugh, on top of lip pencils, it's just like next level. On top, I'm gonna put some Gold Digger, which is lighter. Mm, yeah, but that looks really cool still. Different eye makeup probably, but it looks cool. I feel like it's a little bit more cooler in real life. I feel like on camera for some reason it throws a little bit warmer but it's definitely more like almost gray like it looks kind of grayish brown it's cool so thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this lip swatch video please thumbs up thumbs up for the pain because they hurt let me know what ranges you would like to see next i'm thinking about doing a really cool mac lip combination kind of swatch video similar to what I did at the end of this video where I try on like different combos of lip pencils and lipsticks um, that are really popular right now and just showing you how they look um, and I've also got the I've also got the P. Louise lip bases which I really want to try out I'm saving for a lip swatch video I really want to do that soon so let me know what you'd like to see first and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye